So Chinese entrepreneurs are following in the footsteps of major tech companies. Google invested $542 million into a company called Magic Leap. Facebook purchased Oculus Rift for $2 billion. Augmented and virtual reality technologies could produce $150 billion in revenue by 2020. And Chinese entrepreneurs in California, Silicon Valley, want a piece of that valuable virtual pie. When his son's bubble gun kept spilling, Li Fangwei had a vision of a cleaner and cheaper way to have fun. So how many you got? I got a lot. Though it looks oddly like an improv performance, this is actually the startup Realiteer, playing a virtual reality bubble shooting game called Germ Buster. I see virtual reality more like a casual thing. So say I have 10 minutes break, I can just take something, dive into virtual reality, have fun, like, like escape to virtual reality for 10 seconds and come back to real life. Realityer's $10 VR kit uses a cell phone camera to recognize patterns on a homemade controller, putting one's hand in the experience. Its educational games like Wizard Academy also provide valuable data on what users like. The bottom line is to learn what consumers want in VR, testing those uh, theories, learn their like consumer behavior in VR because it's so new. Also early in the field is Yu Sens, whose mobile technology Impression Pi creates both virtual reality and augmented reality, which is when fictional images are inserted into reality. We've seen virtual reality and we've seen augmented reality, but Yu Sens is taking it one step further with something called super reality. Let's take a look. When I hit the time machine button, the terracotta warrior changes to its original color while I'm transported to the Qin Dynasty era. I can explore this cave, grab a sword, and then seamlessly return to reality. Most importantly, VR can allow people to realize their dreams, like uh, something we can do in real life. We can experience something very costly to experience. Uh, VR is very powerful to change people's psychological state. In fact, when co-founder He An Li's father told her he wished he could go to the moon, it inspired her to create this VR experience. After I finished it, I went to China. Uh, I went to his house and showed it to him and let him try it. He was very happy. I didn't know like there is such a thing called virtual reality. He can make him feel like he he was really in the moon and seeing all the s solar system around him and. He was amazed. <laughs> As its products are now being shipped, USENS hopes its technology will help speed up the entire VR industry by bringing a you've got to try it to believe it experience to millions of users around the world.